to talk about Sana UK relations, joining us in the studio is Professor Zhao Bai Pu from the Foreign China Foreign Affairs University. Uh, good evening, Professor Zhao. Uh, during his speech, President Xi mentioned a lot of first, mm -hmm. first accomplishments between uh, UK a and China. He also expressed a wish to further strengthen China UK relations. Why is this an optimal time? to strengthen relations with the United Kingdom? I think uh, now it's really a very important time for China and Britain to strengthen bilateral ties. You know, entering 21st century, the great changes have taken place in the world, and uh, economic factor has been increasing as importance in international relations. So China as a rising power and uh, it is increasing as political influence mm -hmm. in the world. And Britain is also a very important country in the world and has played a very important influence in the European affairs, in the world affairs as well. So it's in the interest of both sides to strengthen bilateral ties, to uh, benefit the two countries, especially in economic areas. So the trade ties, economic ties, really very strong. And this time, the President Xi Jinping's visit will further strengthen our trade and financial ties, investment ties. Mm. And also, uh, China and Britain, you know, are two permanent members of Security Council in the United Nations. So it makes sense that we uh, develop stronger ties so that we can seek more cooperation in. Many mm. other areas. And do you also believe it also sets a new tone of China's relations with Western countries? Of course, the United Kingdom is a Western country. Mm -hmm. uh, besides economic cooperation, is there any room for political uh, dialogue and cooperation? I think President Xi Jinping's visit uh, can send a very clear message to the Western world that China will continue to pursue open policy and will continue to take on you know, the road of peaceful development and to pursue win-win cooperation. And uh, on political front, I hope there can be some political accomplishment, but I think it's more important, more practical, mm. that the leaders of two countries, political leaders, to maintain frequent high-level visits in to governments and in the development of bilateral political relations to pursue the spirit, mm. the spirit of uh, mutual respect and to share differences while seeking our common interests and at the same time to strengthen the people-to-people -people exchanges. Because domestically, uh, David Cameron has been under some pressure uh, from inside the United Kingdom for being uh, courtship. Uh, for having courtship or even wooing China mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for economic benefits. Do you think these will kind of a serve as obstacles for bilateral relations in the time ahead? I don't think so. I think the British government and the British political leader, they are very clear that where, as, where our British interests really lie. So I think China's development represents a great opportunity for Britain. So uh, through the constant you know, exchanges between our two peoples, people to people exchanges, I think uh, we can properly handle those differences. Mm. And more important is that if you look at the British politics, you know, the both the two major political parties, mm. Labour Party and Conservative Party, Party, they pursue the bipartisan policy towards China. Mm. Both the two parties, they support a stronger cooperative relationship with China. Mm. So that is more important. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, Professor Thank you. Zhao, for your take on this.